Hello, I'm Mr. Schoonover and I will be absent from Meet the Teacher Night. This video is to replace any information that be given to parents in person. First of all, if you're one of my English 2 honors students' parents, the students will have everything they need to know. Please check the syllabus, which by the time you watch this video should be signed. And if you have any questions or concerns, please email me at mschoonover at posd11.net. It should be a great year. Uh, semester of reading and analyzing and writing in this class. Secondly, if you're one of my year-long AP seminar English 2 and Honors and World History students, uh, parents, please see the handout that follows this uh, video. Secondly, please check the syllabus which should have been signed by the time you watch this video. And please email me at mschoonoverpusd11.net if you have any questions or concerns. So let's talk about AP Seminar specifically because that's a much new addition to this class. So the AP Capstone program in general is a diploma program designed to really highlight students on their road to college. It involves two regular classes, AP Seminar and AP Research, as well as four classes of AP that they choose throughout their college uh, high school career. The students that are taking AP Seminar, it's integrated into this class, so they're not taking up an elective at this time. Their senior year, when they take AP Research, if they decide to continue with the program, right now it will be an elective as far as we know. We are working on options. Why AP Seminar? Why should our students be taking AP Seminar? First of all, it's a stepping stone for their future. AP Seminar is going to really enhance their skills that they need for not just college in terms of writing and analysis, but for life. And so even if the students don't do well or they don't see themselves continuing the AP Capstone program, I want them to understand, I want you to understand that it's not a waste of time. The AP Capstone program is recognized on the Common App. The Common App is used by hundreds of colleges across the nation and AP Capstone students that even haven't finished the program, gotten their diploma, there's still a box for them to check that they are one of those students. And their names and their applications are definitely going to go to the top of most piles uh, for college admissions. And Centennial is very much committed to all of our AP students, whether the students in seminar and the AP Capstone program or just students taking regular AP classes, that we want them to be successful. We are an AP school. And we are very much dedicated to supporting them along their entire journey in high school taking AP classes. So let's talk about the AP seminar exam for a moment. This is very different from other AP classes that just have an end of the year exam. First, they have a team research project that they'll be doing in January and February. They have an individual research project we'll be doing in March and April. Then they also have an end of the year, end of course exam. That will be May 12th, 2020. Please already mark that on your calendars as a day that they need to have open so they can sit for the um, final portion of the test. All three parts count for their test grade. Now, this is different in most classes just at the end of the year exam, but this also means there's much more grading for College Board to do, which is why the price is significantly higher than a regular AP class. We want this price tag to not scare any parents off. If there is no financial means for parents to pay for the test for their AP seminar student, please contact the school, contact the counselor, contact Dr. Sorensen himself. We are very much dedicated to finding and figuring out any means necessary to make sure that every student can take an exam and that paying for an exam is not a hindrance to taking the test at all. On a side note and our final note today, AP seminar student presentations have to be filmed for College Board to double check scoring. If there's any concerns about this process of filming the students in class during the presentations, please email me. And again, my email is mschoonover at posd11.net. Thank you so much.